Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Ryan from The Game Conquerors. I'm back with uh, more of my Diddy Kong Racing playthrough. Uh, this is episode two. Welcome back. Rareware. Miss the good old days of Rareware. Alright, so I think we're going to go with Diddy today, just to mix it up a bit. Let's get started. We were at 12 balloons. GQ for Game Conquerors. That's right. What's up, buddy? Oh, yeah, I love these things. He was actually, uh... I remember when I played this as a kid, he was the hardest uh, part of the game, really. Beating this genie. So later on, we're going to find um, Drumstick, which is uh, another one of the racers, um, as one of those little frogs there. He's been transformed into a frog by Wiz Pig, and you have to run him over to unlock him. This is the easiest one. I know I said this was hard, but this is the easy one. The hovercraft one and the plane ones are uh, a little more difficult. Get over here. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> Alright, so now I said I was going to start with um, with the battle, but I think what I'm going to do instead is I'll go through all the worlds, uh, all the races and trophy challenges, and then I'll come back and do all the battles all in one episode. So I can have a little... Uh, I don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> so we can have an exciting episode. Alright, into the icicle zone. I think these are some of my favorite tracks, the ice ones. I always like uh, snow levels on games. I don't know if that's just me or if that's kind of regular among gamers. What do you guys think? Is, are snow levels like. Ah, I, I cannot talk the thing today. Are snow levels uh, some of your favorites too, or do you have a different type of level it's your favorite. Okay, I haven't done a plane in a while. Yeah, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh yeah, there's a, that's the other balloon is the magnet thing. Which I forgot about last time when I was talking about the balloons because they're kind of useless. And I'm doing terrible right now. So one of the cool things about a plane is that you can hit both the plane style zippers and also the zippers on the ground. So if you're really good and well practiced, like that, yeah, if you can get that going for a whole level, whole course, it's pretty good. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm clearing my throat a bunch. Uh, I've been a little sick, so <sighs> my throat's bothering me. Hit this one. Yeah! And then this one. And then the big one. Oh yeah! There you go. I'm getting the hang of the planes again. It's also different. Diddy's a little bit of a heavier character, so he's. controls a little different than Tip Top. Now I might have to split these uh, future episodes into, or split the worlds um, into separate episodes because the tracks get longer as you go. So those first tracks I could go through in about a minute or maybe two, but these ones are going to take me a little longer. So I just might go through all of them, beat the boss once, um, and then split off into a new episode there. So I was actually planning to, for these episodes to be around 15 or 20 minutes long, and that first one was about 30 minutes, so it was a little longer than I was hoping, so definitely with these longer um, tracks, I'm going to want to split them off. Oh, shoot. Just so you guys are on the same page. Oh, yeah, I have to find the keys. There's a key. Just I just passed it there by the finish line. I need to unlock the um, 
battle world. So I'll see if I can grab that on my next go around here. I think I'm far enough ahead that I can grab it without too much of a an issue. It's right over here, I think. To my left, no, to my right. There it is. Yeah, I'm a good. I can catch up. Oh, unless I missed that balloon and hit that tree. Okay. That's the shortcut, by the way. I keep going left there. It's shorter than the other way. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, shoot. Go, go, go. All right, I got it. I got it. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yes! Just barely. Take that bumper. I think bumper's actually faster than Diddy, too. I think the way it works in these, these games is the uh, the heavier characters have a higher top speed, whereas the lighter characters obviously have sharper handling and I think they accelerate a bit faster. So Bumper should be faster than me because he's a heavier character. But I got lucky there. <laughs> the Rareware logo on the side there. Sorry if this is a little choppy, I don't really know why it's doing that, but it's, for me it's being a little choppy, so uh, I'll see if I can fix that in just a second. But uh, if it's choppy, I apologize, and I promise to have it fixed by an episode, next episode. Get those bananas, Diddy. There we go. Ah, shoot. This probably isn't super entertaining to watch because I'm I'm uh, good enough that the other the other racers really don't pose much of a threat, but I'm not so good where it's like, oh look this guy he's amazing, or you know where I can do like a legitimate speed run or anything. So <laughs> kind of thinking nobody's gonna be watching this. That's all right. Honestly. When it comes to doing YouTube stuff, if you're doing it for anything other than your own enjoyment and because you enjoy doing it, uh, you're, it's just not really worth it. Because if you're, you know, if you're trying to get famous on YouTube, anytime somebody tries to get famous, other than maybe like Kim Kardashian leaking a sex tape, <laughs> it doesn't really work. So. Uh, yeah, unless you're like a really hot chick and you want to leak a sex tape, you're not going to get famous by trying to get famous. And if you're trying to get big on YouTube, the only way to do it really is to find something that you enjoy that entertains other people and uh, and just do it because you enjoy it and do it because you want to entertain people, not because you want to be big and famous and rich or whatever. Anyway, that's my spiel and that's why I'm doing this is because I enjoy it. Not really because of uh, wanting to get big on YouTube. But I hope you guys enjoy it, and if there are parts of this video that you enjoy, things that I do, or, or whatever, if there's stuff you'd like to see, please go ahead and comment, let me know. I would love to appease my viewers. I forgot to work on the um, choppiness. Sorry about that. I'm gonna get it right now. You know, right when I hit this uh, thing, I'll try what I'm suspecting is causing it. Alright. Ooh, recover. Ah, oh, jeez. Awful. Take the easy route this time to the right. You get a zipper on the left side, but it's also much thinner 
uh, pass. It's a lot harder to stay on, but I just bounced there on, onto the ice on the wide ones. I guess I might as well take the thin one next time. <clears throat> So one thing I really like about this game that I didn't really, ah, shoot, I didn't really notice until just now as I started playing it. I guess I didn't notice, I just never paid much attention, is those arrows on the side. They're really convenient that they, uh, they pop up on the side and show you, you know, which way you're going to be turning. And it's nice because they're always in the same place. You know, a lot of racing games will have, um, they'll have arrows and warnings on the track itself. But that's really not very helpful because you're going so fast and it's hard to pick them out because... You know, you can't really have, like, you know, on the road in real life, if you put up lights, people are going to notice it. But in a game, you put up lights, well, everything is light. Everything you're staring at in the game is all light, so it's hard to pick it apart. Um, so it's nice to have them just there on the side, always in the same place, and you know what to look for. So that you're not constantly crashing into stuff. Oh, the walrus. I remember him being actually pretty tough. I don't think this first time around, but the second time around, he's, uh... I don't remember what it was about him, but he's... Oh, it's because I'm in a hover. That's why. So here's my first hover race. Ooh. I think there was a shortcut on this track. I don't remember for sure. Yeah, see, the hovers are tricky, because if you turn too sharp, you lose all your momentum, and so you're just at a dead stop, and they take forever to get going again. Uh, see, like that, I turned too sharp there, so I lost all my momentum. You want this really, really fine, um, minor corrections that you want to be doing in a hovercraft. You don't ever want to be trying to make a really sharp turn. Oof. Even at the cost of hidden walls, like I was doing there, it's actually more advantageous than trying to do a full turn. Man, I feel so slow in that thing. Whew. All right, finished. Hold on, kid. Alright, so I'm only I'm sitting at what, maybe 10 or 12 minutes right now on this recording. So I'm not sure if I want to split it off yet. If I go through the whole silver coin challenge though. Oh, thanks. So he gives you that those tips, I guess. I guess that's how I learned that stuff. Um let's see, so I'm not I don't want to split it off yet. Maybe I'll go ahead and do the silver coin challenges. Okay, here's. I think I'll just do the silver coin challenges, um, but leave off the trophy race, and that'll save some time. Maybe what I'll do is come back uh, for next time, do the trophy race and the boss race, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out together. Coins are a little harder to find in the planes because, as you can see, they can get a little more inventive with how they hide them. I think there's one in here, like in a kind of tough spot. No, oh, maybe not. Three to go. Okay, yeah. One, two, and then the one I passed before. Conquer. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, I missed. There's one here on the left, yep. Grab that. And then just that one at the end underneath the bridge, and I'm good to go. Shoot. Banana me. Alright, conquer. You little pest. Again, sorry about the choppiness. If it's choppy for you, I hope it's not, but for me it's being a little choppy. Um, and I will have that fixed next time around. Oh shoot, incoming homing missile! Did that hit me? Or did I just hit the tree and avoid it somehow? I don't know. Normally when it hits you, you spin dead and over end, but I don't know if hitting the tree made me uh, just kind of take it weird. 
grab 10 missiles here. If anybody happens to pass me, I'll be unleashing the load. Don't think that's gonna happen though. So, that means I get to celebrate at the end of the race. And the flip. Woo! <coughs> that's one cool thing about the planes, you can do a, a loop de loop. And there's two kinds. So you, so you double tap R to do it. And uh, if you just double tap, then you just get that little small one that I did. But if you tap and hold, then you get a, like a long one where they fly upside down for a bit. I'll show you next time I'm in a plane, if I remember, which I probably won't. Alright, let's go to the right here. Two reasons. One for variety, and two because I think there's a coin. Just to show you guys that second route as well. That was the last time I never took it. Oh, I missed that one. And that's why they have the little purple balloons there, so you can get the invincibility for the... Oh, shoot. Oh, I got it. Good. You can get the invincibility for the snowballs. Oh, banjo. Okay, so I'm down to two left. There's one here. I think there's... Oh, shoot. I missed it. Yep, there's one on the right. Okay. So just that last one there, and I'm good to go. Excuse me, Bumper. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, dang it. I knew he was going to get it. Good. I almost missed it. Oh, shoot. So they still bounce you. They just don't flatten you. That's good to know. Bumper was right behind me again on this one. Alright. What is it? Two more, and then I'll wrap it up. Frosty Village. Jeez. Diddy's handling is just a little bit different than Tip Tops. It's throwing me off a bit because I used to always play Tip Top. Oof, that was close. Those hitboxes are huge and I'm lucky. Nope, oh, not big enough. Oh, I think on this one there's some in, in the area back here. Shoot, I'm missing the zippers. I'm not finding any coins. This is all bad. Alright, I'm probably going to have to play this one over after I find all the coins. There's one on the right here. Nope, on the left. There it is. Okay. Oof, I missed a ton and I didn't even see where they all were. I'm going to skip that zipper. Okay, there's one. Oh, come on, really? I mean, I guess I didn't really touch it at all, that's fair, but... It just feels like before I would get that close and get them, so... Okay, four to go. So that one I missed there, the one I missed at the end of the last lap... Oh, jeez, I'm terrible. I'm sorry about this. Okay, maybe just down the center, that's where they are. I can't believe I'm actually this close. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay, I missed the one on the left, right? Did I get that? I'm gonna check real quick, even though I probably already got it. Nope, I didn't. Oh, got okay, good. Might still be able to pull this off, assuming that the last coin is just down this center path here. If not, I have no idea where it is, and I'm gonna have to replay this. Oh, dang it! Okay, can I recover? No, they're almost done. They are almost finished. Yeah, there they go. Alright, well now I know where they all are. Come back and grab them. So, I, I'm hoping that proves to you this actually does get a little more difficult uh, as you go on. The silver coin challenges can be pretty tough. Now that I know where they all are, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Although now what I suspect is going to happen is I'm going to miss one or two and forget where they were. Okay, I'll grab those two on the left next time around. Let's see if I can grab this one here. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. oh, all that 
terrible bumping driving and I didn't even grab it. Alright, this one. Got it. That was not pretty, but I got it. Jeez. This has really been a poor display of Diddy Kong Racing skill. And I missed that one. I am a true champion. Diddy Kong Racing. Alright, let's see if I can make this lap a little better. Oh, overshot it. Okay, I'm not gonna hit the zipper so I can have a little more control. Now I got this one. What did I miss? I remember I missed the one I just overshot. What else had I missed? So this one here on the left? Yes it was. Ugh, and I missed those zippers. I cannot consistently hit the zippers today. I thought I was going to miss that one too. Okay, just the one on the left, and I'm good to go. I'm in first place. I like where I'm sitting right now. Got 10 bananas in the bank. Oof. Oh, that was a big. Uh, Shoot. What am I trying to think of? Diddy Kong Racing is taking up all my mental faculties. There was a big stutter there in the in the video. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it threw me off big. Hit, made me hit that tree. But that's alright. Diddy finishes strong. I, wonder what, I forget what that guy's name is. I'm pretty sure he had a name. It wasn't just Magic Elephant Guy. Let's call him, uh... Call him Boba Fett. He flies around. That's pretty much all he has in common with Boba Fett, but you know what? That's popped into my head, and that's what we're going with. Alright, off to a good start. I think this one was a lot easier with coins than some of the others. If I remember correctly. Oh, there's one right there on the inside of that turn. That's going to be kind of tough, actually. But that one, I think there's some up on these things. Oh, there's one right there I missed. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe this one is not as easy as I'm remembering. I know there's some over here on the left. Yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Smooth. Alright, got half of them. That's good. And there's one there in the middle of that thing above me. Wait, I thought I saw one up here. I guess not. Okay, oof, oof, oof. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Alright, so there was some down the center of this thing. And, oh, jeez, I am terrible. And I missed it. Great. I'm pretty sure there's some on the right side of this thing as well. Ah, and I missed that too. That's going to spell defeat for me, I think. So I'm going to have to grab that just before the end. I want time to recover if anything happens. Oh, and I don't even see the last one yet. Shoot. Where's the last one? Oh, so it was a balloon I saw up there. I just saw it again. It's definitely not a coin. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Yep. Say goodbye to this run. Oh, wow. Oh, you know what? I think there's one on the left over here. No? Shoot, I'm gonna have to slow down just to find the coin. Oh, there it is on the right. Alright. Well, I totally lost, and we're getting past the point where I wanted to stop this video. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end it in defeat, sad as it is, but that means we can come back conquering next time. 
and have a clear-cut goal. So next time I'll go ahead and finish that silver coin challenge. Then I'll go back and challenge the boss again, the walrus guy. Uh, and then we'll do the trophy challenge. So it's coming up next time. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again next time.